the North chapter of the New Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, and also a strong member of the North Anti-Violence Coalition family who've been fighting this issue of violence for two years now. Two years we've been trying to raise our community up on this issue of violence. And now it's hitting all of our doorstep, more so that it's starting to affect our women. This is where the men definitely, definitely should stand up now. When our women are now being coming under attack, where black women and Latino women are being shot down in the streets. As black men, we should be outraged. We should be out here in the thousands and the numbers. Our women should be home, and we should be out here dealing with this and defending this issue. The women shouldn't even be here. They shouldn't even be here to listen to us. There should be nothing but thousands and hundreds of thousands of black men packing these steps of City Hall and packing these streets, family, because this issue is serious and it's, and it's heartfelt. I don't know you as a black man, but to lose so many of your own kind, if you cannot feel the pain and suffering of others who don't lost family members, who don't lost their mothers, who don't lost their sisters, if you can't feel that pain as a black man, then you need to check yourself today. So we calling a black man out today. We want every black man in attendance today and every black man that can hear us today to take a stand. It's time for us to wake up, clean up, and stand up. It's time for us to take charge, family, because we're going to look up one day and there's going to be none of us left, man. None of the black men are going to be here today because we're killing ourselves. Because we are killing ourselves, man. And, and this is a serious battle that we're dealing with. And, and it's hard to defend against. Because if this was the Ku Klux Klan, if this was some outsiders coming in our community, then we can be able to come out in defense and deal with that. But when it's us that's doing it to us, this is a tougher issue. Because it may be some of the killers right here in this audience, man. It may be some of the ones who are inflicting violence, who are brutalizing their women right here in this audience. So this is why this is a serious, more serious issue we're dealing with. But we appeal to the black man to stop the killing. Stop the shooting. Stop doing exactly what the enemy wants you to do. This is what the white man wants you to do. Ever since he brought us over here in shackles and chains, when he kidnapped us from Africa and brought us over here to be slaves, he intended for the black man to kill himself. When he seen that he cannot kill us through all of all the weapons that are mass destruction that they are using on us today. He said that he can't kill us, black man. Only you can do it. And now he got us doing the job, doing his job for him. As the brother shirt that reads of the Ku Klux Klan and sent us thank you letters. Thank you letters for us killing each other. This is what they want us to do, family. But it's time for us, time for the real black men to take a stand. It's time for us to really to hit these streets, to hit this community, man, and send a strong message to them brothers that no longer, ever, will we sit by quietly while our women are being killed, family. Anytime when, when the people, when the women are being murdered, do you not know that if you kill the black women, you kill our race? They're the ones who produce us. If it wasn't for a black woman, we wouldn't even be here today. We wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for the black woman. So if the black man do not take a stand and protect our women to never ever allow what happened to the sister Dawn Reddick. Never allow ever ever to what happened to the sister Nakisha Allen who two years ago formed the No Anti-Violence Coalition what motivated us and put us out in the community every Wednesday. Every Wednesday we are out here fighting for you. No matter what the climate is, no matter what the weather is, what the time is, every Wednesday we're in the community fighting hard on this issue. As the brother spoke before and mentioned about the violence being a public health issue. That's what we declare. We declare from the steps of City Hall that the violence we believe is a public health issue. And it's a state of emergency. And it needs to be addressed as such. And we need to make sure that these people who live, who work right here in City Hall, from the mayor to the council on down, declare this violence a public health issue in a state of emergency. So that's our appeal to you and to the black man to wake up, clean up, and stand up. Black power? Black power? Black power?